Hi, everybody. How are you today? I'm doing very well, and I cannot wait to start chatting with all of you. Yes, Nancy, I am pretty sunny, and I thought pretty chilly, but it's not too bad. Hi, Stacy. So today we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at the gorgeous build a flower belladonna lily. And I'm going to actually showcase a card that I did for the hop because uh, I got some questions on it. And I thought, why not? So that's what we're going to work on today. So let's get um, shifted down so that we can work on our projects. All right, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to get out of there so I can see everybody's comments. Hello, hello. Yes, make sure to share this, you guys, because there's the possibility of a gift card. So there is a gift card. It just there's a possibility of winning one. Hello, Sue. Hello, everybody. All my loves. Hello, hello. So the card that I created for the hop was this one here and then we can put a sub sentiment so we'll get started on that this is the caps bolt alpha and i always call it bold caps alpha so if there's any confusion you know um and a couple of things while i'm getting my stamp i'm going to put it in the positioner all that jazz uh just to let you know shipping is free today over on alt new in the shop and there's also a new layering class in the alt new academy which is absolutely free for a few days so you want to make sure to go on over and check that out so you can see i've created my guide and accidentally stamped on it a few times, which is okay. That's absolutely okay to add, you know, whatever you do to your guide, it's, as long as you can see it, you're good. So we're gonna use this again today because you guys know I'm not a big um, outline. Hello, and yes, Mary is with us today. Mary is behind the alt new badge. Uh, so hello, Mary. And thank you, Mary. Mary's putting all of the stuff I'm using uh, into the chat so you guys can check it out. All right. So I've got my guide. And then so I put my piece of cardstock that I want in here. And I'm going to put it actually under my guide. I have too many pieces. I'm too excited. I know you guys are shocked. I'm too excited to craft. All right. So we're going to begin with the... Um, we're not going to do the outline, okay? I'm not, an, yes, yes, free shipping. Today begins a celebration of all things Alta New. It's very exciting uh, because it's the eighth anniversary. So we're super stoked and super psyched uh, to share so many fun things with you guys. And it's kind of over the month. Like we're having a month long party at Alt New. So keep your eyes out. You never know what's gonna happen next. And that's kind of the fun thing, isn't it? Kind of is. All right. So we're gonna use, so we're gonna move our little guide here. Now my goal today is to get two cards. If we don't, I just wanted to really showcase this set and give you a few tips because there's a, a scotch of extra photopolymer, which you can kind of see here. Let's, we'll come in a scotch. So you can kind of see right here, there's some extra photopolymer. So we've got to be aware, aware of that when we're doing our stamping, because nothing is worse when you think you have stamped it beautifully and you stamp down and you get that little scotch of extra. So. And I did change my colors a little bit um, because I went with, oh, for some watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're so excited. Woohoo. Um, so I'm going to use, of course, my pocket full of sunshine. <laughs> so when I go to stamp this, I'm just going to go, I'm not stamping in there. And I'm using my minis today because of this. See, I'm super duper heavy handed. So when I put my oval down, I get a lot in that area that I don't want it. And then if we miss anything or if we have lines, I did take out my blending brushes today in case we need them. And I can show you that trick as well. 
So we're going to put our magnet in because I know bad things are going to happen if I don't. And the other key for me, just push where there's actual image. Okay, you don't need to, you just need to, I feel like it's a little, little reinforcement. So maybe we just reinforce, we won't push. And it came out beautiful. Right here, I could use a scotch more, but it's making me nervous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my citrus first. I'm gonna put it right here, okay? And I'm looking so it matches. So right here, it's this portion right there and a little bit up here. So I just take my blending tool and I can add that extra color right where I want it. So that's another tip that you may not have known about these wonderful, wonderful tools. Then we need a cloth. We're not gonna clean it per se, we're wiping it off, so. <laughs> Um, and well, I was going to stamp three at once, but we'll go through and then we'll come back and stamp uh, the others if we have time available. This card may take us a bit because there's a few steps. So now, watch, I'm sorry for my melon. It's clean melon, but I'm just lining up uh, as best I can without sticking my entire head over it. Okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do it. I did it. <laughs> okay. We're going wild here today. But it's a crafty adventure. Woo, woo. So we gotta, we got to go a little wild, right? All right. So now we're going to go with fresh lemon. My hope is that we're going to get this one. We'll get this one stamped. Then we'll stamp our two others. And then my hope is we can make another card after with the deck planks 3D embossing folder. So see, I'm missing a little bit. I'm very nervous about that photopolymer there. So I'm going to just double. Oh, no, that was my first one. Oh, silly, silly. And I think I missed. Oh, I missed a flower. There we go. Just that's what's great about the cube. I am an oval gal. I love the ovals. I live with the ovals. I team oval. However, there are techniques and stamp sets that these little fellas come in super duper handy. And I've noticed lately, I've been pulling these out more and more. So just something, if you struggle with heavy handedness on stamps that may have a little bit more um, extra photopolymer, uh, then this is definitely a technique or a, a process that could work well for you. Um, and if you're like, well, you know, I've invested in the ovals, I don't really want to invest in the minis, I, I like what I have, then the blending tool is the way for you, my friend. There is always, always a way. So now we've done the citrus burst. We've done the fresh lemon. So we'll put that away. And we will come up to the maple yellow. And because I remembered, we will do the, I always recommend the stamp conditioner. Mine is loved, as you can tell. Um, my cat, Emery, likes to eat them. So, all right. Now, hopefully, I'm trying to get down into the nooks and crannies, but not really focus a lot of extra ink onto those areas that are not critical to my stamp. So, all right. So, again, I'm just kind of lightly pushing, uh, reinforcing where I know my image is. So, beautiful. And if you want more definition, you can double, triple stamp uh, different layers. Okay, so now, I don't know why I'm moving my magnet. <laughs> we can move this. And then we're going to put back in our little guide here. Oh, I forgot to list an ink color for this section. We'll just pull something um, for the little dots. I totally forgot. Okay, so in the chat, let me pose this question to all of you, my dear friends. Do you guys forget one section of the flower? I have a problem with flower centers. Once the beautiful floral is done, I'm out. I'm like on to leaves and I look back 
And I'm like, holy Toledo, I did not do the floral centers. What is going on with me? So do you guys do that as well? Do you have that problem? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know if I'm alone in this struggle or if you guys struggle with me. See, I'm going to stamp on my guide. All right. So we're going to go ahead. This is B1, and we're using Misty Moore. Oh, good. Oh, Rosie. I feel so much better. I feel so much better. That's good. Well, it's not good that we forget the, <laughs> the pieces, but it's good to not be alone. It's always good, you know, when you're in a group to have friends that, you know, uh, experience similar things like you. So I will tell you, this one, and I don't want to say it's easy to line up because somebody may get this and say, you know, I really struggle with lining this up. How does she say it's easy? So I think it's an easier stamp to line up because I don't want anybody to ever feel, well, she thought it was easy and it's not for me. So we want to be inclusive of everybody. So if you do struggle with it, just take a little extra time and that's okay. You, it's not, uh, card making isn't like, if we're in it together, Rosie, exactly. Like, and card making is not like one of those, you know, timed sports where you have to basketball, you know, because March Madness, we'll just go with basketball. So it's not like you have to get it done in a certain period of time. It's okay if you take time. So take time and enjoy it. All right. And of course, I didn't put those little dots on there. But first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp our other two. And I could have stamped these. I tell you guys, I'm a silly, silly girl this week. And I'd like to see this week, but it's been a longer kind of process than this week that I've been a silly, silly girl. That's okay. Maybe it's spring. I'm waking up like a bear. <laughs> I, I do go to Humane, so I am a black bear technically. Um, so maybe that's it. Maybe I just, you know, that's the thing. I'm waking up from hibernation and as it gets warmer, I will start remembering things. Nancy, I never get this on our Yeah. And that's the other thing. Like I am going to say, I actually, I was doing, uh, working on a project that will be coming out uh, this month, later this month. And I see in the, the video that, you know, it's okay if um, your flower centers don't line up. Even Lydia says, just, just get it in there. You just want to get it in there so it's in there and it kind of looks like it's going to belong. So once I saw Lydia kind of just say, look, I'm just popping it in here. If it's right, it's right. If it's not, it's not. You know, it's you try to get it in there, right? But if it doesn't, it's not the end of the project. It's not the end of anything. It's just uh, in our set, my Saturday group, we call it abstract. It's an original. And you know, we need to make originals. So it's a good thing. That's where I'm going with it, I think. That is a good thing. Oh goodness, Emily is trying to crawl, crawl up the wall, you guys. Up the wall. Holy Toledo. All right. So get these, all right, so now that was um, A2. We are now going on to, or that was, I grabbed the wrong one. So we did A1, we're gonna grab A2. And I love that it's all one. I don't have to fiddle with little bits. I can just line it up perfectly. And if you want to, I usually don't mind. Hi, Ian, I don't mind lining it up. Um, you know, with just the outline, usually that's okay. But if you want to, you can bring the guide back in. That's the beauty of the guide. It's not going anywhere. It's yours. It's permanent. You know, you don't have to worry about it. When you make your guide, just make sure you choose a darker color. And if you do use obsidian, you, you really want to keep set. And then you can just check there. So now we're going to come in with our fresh lemon again. Oh, goodness. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So we're going to come in with our fresh lemon and stamp that. And if you wanted to, you could skip layers. Um, on my original card, I did buttercream as my first layer. 
so that I would get more of a jump when I went over to pocket full of sunshine. So mix and match those colors, my dear friends. Oh, and again, I'm telling you, such a silly, silly girl. Oh, yeah, Susan, I totally understand that too. And I'm sure you will. You'll be able to try them soon. I've definitely been in that position, so I completely understand. Well, I can't say completely, but I empathize. There we go. All right. So we got that there. Now we'll move on to the third, which I pulled. Okay. I think I forgot the fourth layer on the other one. I'm telling you guys, my brain is like in hibernation. I'm going with that. I'm going to say my brain is in hibernation mode still. But instead of wake up, it's becoming beautiful. All right, so maple yellow. And the good news is because I used a guide and I haven't die cut it yet, I can double check my other floral that we originally did. And if I left off the fourth layer, which I think I did, um, we can we can add it on. So that's okay. That's the beauty of using a guide and a stick positioner is that you can always go back and add on if you are absent-minded like me. All right. Ta-da! I think I'm saying that. My husband used to say that when I stay up a lot. I open the mystery or something or show him a car. Ta-da! So, just fun. As my dad said, you gotta have fun, fun. So I think that meant that you're supposed to have so much fun, you have to, like, so nice you say it twice. That kind of thing, I think. Yes, we did not do A4, because A4 is, um, still shows a little bit of pink on there. <laughs> so we did not do A4, so we're gonna do A4 on all of our cards, because, you know, why not? But the, in all honesty, do you have to? No. Will anybody notice? No. So if you end up forgetting, you know, if you're like me and you're in hibernation mode and you're like, oh, goodness, I forgot to do that. It's okay. It's okay. It just makes it different. And that is wonderful. And that's what's so wonderful of our little crafty community is that we all do different things and we all make different projects and we all see things differently. You know, uh, like 50 people could take this stamp set and you're going to get lots of different projects. As you see each month when we do the blog hops, there's lots of different options. Now, if this is bothering you, I'm going to do on um, this one. Uh, if the honey drizzle is bothering you, because you're like, whoa, that is a big difference, my friend. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to our maple yellow. Okay, because you can repeat colors. You do the repeat stamping. So we're going to stamp that down. And basically, you just keep going until you like the differentiation. I think I'm gonna go one more time. Cause sometimes, hello Melly, good evening as well. Uh, sometimes that jump between maple yellow and honey drizzle is a little too much on my eyeballs. So I like to, um, I like to just use the maple yellow repeatedly. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and we're gonna put on our little dots and we'll stamp all of those. That's the beauty of using a stamping platform. And they're little fiddle bits a bit. So, and actually I may hand stamp those. Oh, I'm gonna say it's sticking to me. Let me get my little thing. I should have put powder. Hello, Teresa, how are you? How is it in Cali today? Is it nice and warm? We heard it was breezy from another section of Cali. Oh, I'm glad you like the ink. Oh, that's wonderful. I wasn't really a yellow ink kind of gal. And then my husband loved it. So I uh, I went with it. 
All right, we're gonna go with uh, pumpkin pie, but I am gonna test on this piece of cardstock. Just see if I like it. Yes, I do. So you also could stamp off on, um, so stamp once and then use the second generation, but this one is working for me. Hopefully I'm close. All right. And so we'll go through all of ours. And why I still keep it in the misty when I'm hand stamping, I don't know. <laughs> do you guys do that? Um, let's see. Okay, so we got the C1 there. And I'm not looking. The guide is fantastic. It's fabulous. Um, I'm not looking at it. I am, as you guys know, when you craft with me, kind of flying by the seat of my pants and just kind of popping stuff where I think it goes. <laughs> but you know, that's the beauty of it is you can be super duper precise and you can follow the guide or you can do the Casey method where you go a little rogue. You just go wild and you snip stuff where you think it goes. So if you guys are doing that in your space, I would love to hear about it. Okay. Ooh, it doesn't work if you do it upside down, my dear friends. Okay. Yeah, so people were talking about the giveaway. So everybody that's here and shares it, um, they will be entered for a $15 gift certificate, which Mary will draw and post the winner uh, after this is over. So make sure you share this beautiful, 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 because we love sharing the crafty love here at Alta New. We just love getting lots of crafters, sharing a community. That's one of the things that made me fall in love with Altenew was the family that existed within Altenew. What about you guys? What was the first thing that made you guys fall in love with Altenew? Let's go there since it's anniversary. I'm going to say month because... You know, Altenew always is doing things amazing and huge. So <laughs> we're going to do, you know, it's a big celebration, super big celebration. So, so yeah, tell me what, uh, what made you first fall in love with Altenew? I would love to know. Okay, and that didn't, I'm stamping with Misty Moore. I just forgot to do my greenery. I'm telling you guys, I don't know what's going on don't know. All right. And so this is what I was talking about earlier. If you're uncomfortable, uh, you can always put your guide back in. I just slide my stamp around until I don't see the white space anymore. And so I'll push it off and then push it back to where I think it is. And if I don't see it, then I know. Yes, the flowers with the layers. The inks got me too. Like I I got um, antique roses and it was on a different site and it was in the sale section. And I thought, well, I'll take a risk because I was always so scared. I'm like, it's so beautiful. I'm not going to be able to do it. And so I, I bought it. And then as soon as I stamped it out, I was in love. And I'm like, now I need the inks because the inks are going to make this. Like, they're going to take this to the next level. I want to go to the next level. Let's go. So I got the inks and that was pretty much it. That I was done. I was in love and it was done, done, done. Okay. I said, we'll move this. We'll wiggle that. Yeah, I, Nancy, that's a safe assumption. <laughs> Nancy said she can't remember, but it, it probably was a floral. That's a that's a good yeah. It's a good it's a good bet. Although there are some geometrics, but it depends on what you like. And that's the thing I love is that Alta New gets everybody. They have something for everybody. You know, it's just oh, just wonderful. Okay, so this one we will 
um, just leave alone. So this will be this panel. So we'll, or no, this one, have to do the full size one for that. So we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna die cut these two out. Oh, I'm glad that you love it. Yeah, the inks are amazing. The inks, the inks are super fun. Yeah, the inks, the inks, like the stamps are gorgeous. Then when you have the inks, like it takes it to a whole new level. Just, it really blows it out of the water. All right, so I'm going to use some of the, I always call this silky, satin <laughs> masking tape. And sorry if my melon comes back in. I wish I could just detach it for lives, but maybe that's my problem why I'm not thinking correctly. <laughs> and if you want to, too, if you have difficulty in lining things up, you can always cut this out first if that's what you would like to do and that helps you. There's lots of ways, not I, little tricks. I don't like to say, some people say the cheat method or something like that. And I don't like to say that because, you know, it's not, nobody's cheating. It's just, it's tricks that make it easier for you to do it. All right. And this will fit through the mini blossom. Yeah. Yeah, the inks. Oh, the inks. Yes, the inks. Oh, the inks. And if you guys have not tried this masking tape, oh my gosh. Oh, and the craft of flower. Yeah, that's a good. The embossing folders. Yeah, it was that. I remember that. So that was one of my um, first pops I did when Paul It was when the embossing folders came out. And that it was just my mind. I'm like mind blown. Like just, they're amazing. And I love them all. Like it's it's super hard to pick one out. <laughs> okay. All right. So I just left my little masking tape. And this, the great thing about this tape is I have not had it tear my paper. And I, as you can imagine, make a lot of cards and a lot of projects. So I use it a lot. Um, and I can reuse it multiple times. That's what I really love because I do a lot of cutting in my space. So to be able to use it multiple times is wonderful. So this card came about, it's, it's an older, you know, it's an older technique that we have done in the past. Um, I think, you know, if you slide it over, I think it's the eclipse technique, uh, something like that. I, it has lots of different names, um, but I didn't have the dive at the moment. And I was like, oh goodness, because my cranky cutting, as I call it, Need to work on it. Uh, but yeah, my cranky cutting is a little dicey. So I was like, what can I do when I was cutting this out? What are we gonna do? And then this came up and I'm like, ooh, it's, I have this. So this is the Cat's Bolt Alpha, which I have to say is my fave, my absolute fave. I store them on these big magnet sheets so I can see them easily. And they also have numerals that you can purchase in a different, my P is making a break for it. So get that on there after. Okay. So when doing this technique, you'll want to take a piece of tape. So you want it a, a little bit longer. I went overboard. Uh, you want it longer than your project. So the beautiful thing about this is that we have this card base here. So I don't have to mess around and fidget with my base. I can come over here on this. And they also have on the other side, they have um, on the gray side, they have the metrics. So um, they have both uh, US and the metric system. Inches and metrics, there we go. Again, sorry guys, my brain hibernation mode. Are you guys in hibernation mode? Is anybody out there still in hibernation mode? Okay. Oh, so there. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my tape down and I'm going to try to have a steady hand. And then I'm going to put right in the center. So I am going to push over the side of my die, but I also want to make sure that I push down in the center so everybody gets connected. 
Okay. Then we're going to come over and we will bring this. And now that I know my letters are lined up, they're pretty, pretty good. They may be off the scotch because we're looking at the outside cut line. So, you know, it may be off the scotch, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up with my mat again, right here. Okay. And then this one we have to put through the bigger color. So I'm going to come over here, do that, and make sure your top mat is like not, doesn't have anything, any indentations or anything because you don't want to accidentally imprint one of your previous die cutting situations on there. I think that's happened to most of us at one point or another. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I shared the eighth anniversary blog pop with a friend. Thank you for all the inspiration. Oh. You are welcome. We love to inspire. That's absolutely something we love to do. All right, so then you just fold it back on itself. Okay, because this I did not put on my clothes. I didn't do anything to it. Okay, and it's not tearing. Well, it's tearing up there, but it's not tearing my paper. If the tape tears, that's okay. I don't want my project to tear. So that's okay the tape can tear. All right. So I am tearing it there. Ooh, and it picked up the disgustingness off my cutting plate. That's good. I'll have clean cutting plates. <laughs> All right. So the rest is just going to come out. Now you could, oh, and I have a mark here. So I'll have to trim this down because I was crooked when I went through. It's a mark from the machine cutting it. Um, what we will do is I'll turn that down. But what we're going to do is we're just going to finish taking the tape off. We can set these pieces to the side. Now, another idea is to not use um, this piece, but to come over and you can do this. So see, you have a pattern now on your head. So you could do that too as well if you wanted to. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our foam tape. I have a mean coon kitty, so I have to keep tape and sticky things away because she is the best assistant anybody could ever ask for, but she's very, very furry. So although she loves to help, I get fur on a lot of my projects now. Oh goodness, but that's okay. Have to be supportive of when people love to help. All right. I know I'm finally getting down on this instant uh, dimension foam tape. I have had this forever. I've done so many projects. And I'm finally getting to the point where it's the size of one of my hands. So <laughs> you get so, so much with it which is wonderful. Is that going to fit? Yes. All right. And then we can just put this here. And unfortunately, I did not pull out a card base and you would want to attach this to a card base, but I'll show you the steps and then we'll work on our other card. The good news is you can see the finished product. And then I'll stick that there. I, I've said this before in these lives that, hello, hello, Naomi. Um, I uh, had a card cave in 25 years ago and I've lived in fear of that happening to me. Has that happened to you guys? Do you guys uh, do the same thing? <laughs> it happened once, it could happen again. What would I do? Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, so this would be because I don't have a card base in front of me. So this would be, and you just kind of want to pay attention when you put your floral back together to make sure before you pull the tape, I recommend inlaying it like this first, then making sure that your flowers are aligned, all that stuff, then you're good. The other step you can do is 
This set has so many. I got my dirty stamps here. So many sub sentiments. So, you know, you are the best. You are amazing. Hope this brightens your day. On mine, I used uh, Need to See You ASAP. Mine fell off. I always did it with gold embossing powder, but it fell off. Um, uh, my Sweet Friends. So you can go ahead and choose whatever you would like. You can center it. You can put it on one of the featured sentiments, guys. Those are great for that. All right. So we'll put one on our next. So there's that's what your finished card would look like if you would hear it down. And then you can have a sub, a sub sentiment if you would like or not. It's okay if you don't have a sub sentiment. You don't even have to have a sentiment. You can just let it flow. But, and just look at the difference between the colors. So this one here, um, it's on my blog, but I believe it was um, vanilla cream, buttercream, butternut, and pumpkin pie for the dots. And then Misty Moore and Marshland for that one. And this one I did in Pocket Full of Sunshine. So you can get, you know, two really different looks, um, very similar. By any chance, do the cutout letter dies come in a smaller font? They do. Um, they have, um, trying to think, there's a, put in alphabet dies. I can't think of the name at the moment, but they do have um, smaller, they have some lowercase ones, uh, bold caps alpha. There's also caps alpha that has a small, uh, small font. Um, and then there are other fonts that uh, you can get uh, as well from Altenew that you can have some smaller ones. There's a calligraphy set. They also have the inline, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, they also have the inline uh, letters, I think inline alphabet, that's a smaller one. Um, they also have bigger. If you wanna go bigger, you can get the big letters. So I have, you can see my numbers on here. So they're a good size. So there's my hand, there's the eight, you know. They're a good, they're a good size. All right, so let's run this through. I almost thought about pulling the spicy yogurt out today, but I didn't. I'm just sticking with the plain old Nina. Oh, thank you so much, Mary. Yes, the inline, yes. Mary, you're the best. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. I always kind of go rogue on Mary a little bit. I'm like, here's here's what I'm going to do. And then I go a little rogue on Mary, so <laughs> I feel a little bad. What I love to do with this set is I love to do the corner method. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use those featured sentiment dies. Now, I am so sorry, they are actually sold out at the moment, but when they come back in, these, when they first released, I did not buy these. I'm like, no, I don't need those. I can just cut them, you know, that's that was my thought process. And I was wrong. So <laughs> I ended up uh, buying them and I, I love them. Love, love, love them. So definitely they are very, I use them so much. I did not think that I would, use them as much. So I'm going to make a card for Mary because she's just so awesome and she's doing an amazing job. So we're going to pretend um, that I'm going to send this. This will be, um, what do you call it? A virtual card where you don't actually get the card, but the card was made for you. Uh, okay. I don't know if that's a thing, but we're going to make it a thing today. We're starting today with that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the hello here. And I'm going to use my little, my little guide here. You got to have guides. You got to have guides everywhere. And so I want it to go right about there. And the good part is, is that if I'm on the scotch, I can wiggle around my my florals because I haven't done them yet. And is it smarter to do this first? Absolutely. Do I remember to do this first? Absolutely not. <laughs> is it okay? Absolutely. Because I'm going to show you guys a trick. 
we're going to take a marker and grab uh, that one. Oh, there it is. We're going to grab a marker and we're going to make it all better. So we're just going to come in. I've got my jet black marker and I'm just going to fix my areas where it didn't quite get there. And then you could do this with a fine liner too. And if you, like I said, if it's like, whoa, that would really bother me. Like if it's not perfection, it's gonna drive me crazy. I totally get that. I am usually that way as well. <laughs> so just, um, you can go ahead. You can even, I've been a lot heat setting it with clear embossing powder and then running it through uh, my embossing folder and it's been absolutely fine. So that works for me. Hopefully it works for Mary too, since it's Mary's card. It hopefully will work for Mary. So what we can do, because I, I really want to show you guys uh, the featured sentiments in case you haven't seen them, because they are super duper cool. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to take a piece of paper that we threw away in the bin. It was in the bin. We're saving something from the bin, my loves. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to use it. Oh, you've never seen that. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Yes, you could stamp it uh, before the embossing. Like I said, you can even use the embossing powder. You can put clear embossing powder on it. it goes through. It does not mess it up. It's You are super good. Yes, and that is the correct, generally. Um, I, I don't like to say correct either, but that is the way I generally do it as well, is the stamping first, and then I go ahead and um, do my embossing. But you guys know me, I get super excited, and I just wanna make the card, you know how it goes. So we're gonna do, you are the best. Because Mary, you are the best. Everybody's the best. This could be everybody's card because you guys are all the best. So let's make this card then for everybody today. I'm sure Mary wouldn't mind sharing her card because you're all the best. We all have such fun together when we get crafting. Now, if you worry about stamping correctly, meaning straight, um, you can go ahead and you can always die cut first, as opposed to what I'm doing. I'm doing it kind of, I'm doing everything backwards today. Yeah, Naomi, I have a bucket under my desk, which I rescued most of the paper today from that I've used. So I have been, I've been pretty good about using it. So I'm, I'm quite impressed, but yeah. So just a little, a little, another little trick to help you. You can always use either. Now, if the markers make you nervous, my fine liners have walked off, but you could also use the fine liners up here. If you're like, and then there's also the little nib that you can kind of get in other areas as well. So you can get in the smaller. You just have to be a little careful because the marker not runs, but it spreads. So you've got to take that into mind when you're putting your marker down. So, and then just go here. Yeah, see, I did too much there. I should have stopped, I should have stopped. All right, so let's go ahead. And we had already, it's like we planned this and I did not. I plan nothing. Uh, <laughs> it's like we planned this tape. It's the perfect, perfect size. We won't need another piece because, okay, let's take a vote. While I'm putting this stuff on, what do we think? Should we pop up the florals? Since it's a card for all of you out there, would you like to pop up the florals? Let's see what the vote is as it comes in. I feel like a newscaster, breaking news, breaking news, no? <laughs> yes, yes, we're getting yeses, woohoo! All right, I'm doing a little jig, yes. You guys don't wanna see me dance though, trust me, it's better you're looking down at this. <laughs> All right, so there, so, and see, I think you can stop here, okay? Some people may say, no, 
what are you talking about? I mean, the florals are gorgeous and we're going to add them, but you know, it's okay. You could stop here. I think you can make clean and simple cards because look, you have all that dimension and interest. So you can, you can even do just a colored sentiment, you know, like uh, what you, oh, one of the pigment inks. Oh, that would be gorgeous. And so you could just use that. You could stop there, but we're not gonna, because, you know. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you something here. I'm gonna place my flowers where I think I want them. Okay, that's where I think I want them on that side. So I'm gonna flip it over. And then I'm just gonna draw with a pencil where to trim off my flowers because once i put on the tape it gets yes sue that would be that would be a great masculine card and i think that's the great thing about card making is that you know you get to certain points in the process and you realize wait a minute i am going to finish this card because i had this idea and i need to make it yeah, to get it out of out of my brain but I could do this and this card would work really great for this purpose. So this way, when I put the foam tape on, I can just align it back up in that corner and I'm good to go. And again, you could do one floral and really stretch out, you know, your, um, your cards. Oh, that's, that's from another, another, uh, company, Kathy. Um, the grid but our own ann taylor actually makes the grids so maybe ann could uh demonstrate sometime how she makes the grids okay so again i'm going to do the same thing where i just flip a roo and trim off because i a lot of times when i do the foam tape because a lot of times i forget to do this and then I have the foam tape on and then I go to cut it and I can sometimes get a crooked cut and it drives me silly because I'm like, no, I worked all that time on my card and it's crooked, no. So for me, this works the best way. And then I'm gonna make sure I get my flowers in the right, the right uh, corner here. All right. We're gonna go ahead. We'll pull a big line of tape here. Probably don't. I'm probably getting a little aggressive with that much tape. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. All right. And then paying attention, it may be better to move it off a white surface uh, here. And somehow I got ink on my on my project down in that corner. I don't know how I did it. It's yellow, so it came from today's project somehow. I must have yellow ink on my hands and I did not realize it. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm very excited. I'm hanging out with the kids tonight. We're gonna watch the final uh, March Madness game. It'll be fun. Get some takeout because my daughter-in-law has a cold, but she did a test and she's all set. Okay, so I, I'm going overboard. Like I literally can stop now, but I can't. <laughs> like I should stop. I should stop. I should stop. And I can't. All right, there we go. Is that showing? Oh, a scotch. Okay. We'll push that. Over. Okay, so we're going to do this one. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I tell you, sometimes. Yeah, this is, I, this set, I'm a sentiment girl, but this set is just so gorgeous. I, when I saw this, I couldn't believe, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's just, some sets just speak to you, you know, they all speak to you. They're all gorgeous, they're all pretty. You have ideas, but this one just kind of had a little stamp love affair. It was fell in love immediately. 
And I really love the Build of Flowers. And Ann Taylor mentioned this earlier. One of the great things about the Build of Flowers is that you can use the outline or not. I'm a big proponent of not. I like the, it seems to me to be a more delicate look. Um, when you don't use the outline, but there are some techniques that you do use the outline and, you know, the projects are gorgeous. But what I love the most is that Altenew lets us decide. They're like, here, here are some options. If you would like to do this, please feel free to, but you know, you don't have to, you, you don't have to use the outline. You can just, you know, wing it. Oh, it's one of your new favorites. Oh, yeah, I know. It's just, it just, you know, once in a while, I mean, all the stamps that come out are gorgeous and I love them all, of course. Equally, it's like, you know, I only have one child, but I could imagine if someone says, pick your favorite child. Like, I have two cats. I can't pick a favorite cat. So, because it's just, you know, I love them both. Um, so, it's like, all well, new when people say, pick your favorite stamp set. Oh, gosh, are we talking florals, geometrics, <laughs> you know, like the grocery heroes, the professional sets, or what? Which category would you like to discuss? And then if it's florals, you know, is it build a flower or is it outline stamps? Or, you know, you have to really, really get into the nitty gritty when picking a favorite stamp set from all to do because you got to have a lot of categories uh, trimmed down for you so you can easily make that decision because there's so many pretty options. All right. And this is actually a card that's going to get out to all of you visually. So I don't even have to worry about that, you know, painful step, apparently, of putting a stamp on it and addressing it and putting it in the box. Because that's the difficulty. I have lots of cards that would love new homes and they just don't make it there. I have tons of stamps. It's not like I don't have stamps, but do you guys do that as well? Do you guys have lots of cards that you need to get out into the world and share the gorgeousness? All right. So here's that. And then we'll pop this up. Yeah, 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 guys. Share, share, share. Woohoo! Because you get entered into a drawing for a $15 gift card if you share and mention that you shared. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could make your hello. Um, they they have like short to chunky little fellas. So he would, he's good at sitting, but he would fit well in this featured sentiments one right here. It's hard to see him, but he's there. See, he would fit beautifully. And then the other thing is if it's too long or too short, you can always, you know, move it over and then die cut. And then you have, look at how short of one you would have there if you just wiggle that over and die cut. So just... Endless, I, I could craft with you guys for days. There's just endless ideas. So there's that card. And then here's the one that we made today. So we're gonna put this, I will trim this one down because I, I aligned it wrong and my plates put an imprint on there. But that's the one we did today. And then here was the one that I made for the hop. So it was our, I kind of, I, I guess you can't say taste it because tasting it, I think you're supposed to change things. And I, I did not change things. So, oh gosh, you guys are making cards and sending them out. You guys are awesome. Oh, I'm glad you like them. Yeah, I, Roxy, I keep um, my Google photos. It's loaded with photo ideas. I, that's where I keep them. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, Linda, I'm glad you came. Anyways, even if you guys are like, oh, I already started, I can't go. Absolutely, come join us. We always love to have you join. And the great thing is you get the recording. And one quick, quick addition, you could come back in with these fellas. Let me wiggle this over just a second. You could come back and add them under either under like the floral, so it looks like there's another one in back, okay? Or you can add them down here, so they're peeking in. You can keep going around with the die cut pieces, so that's another fun. And then if you like it flat, pop it down. You know, you're, you're good to go popping it down flat, but just, just some ideas. All right, let's come back up 
so that I can, I will uh, show you my face. I was gonna say, so I can see all your beautiful faces. I'm used to Zoom where I can see all your beautiful faces, but thank you so much for, oh, I'm glad you guys like them. I'm so happy that you guys like them. It's, I think it's fun. It's uh, something that we don't do very often. Uh, it's fun to go back to those techniques that we did once upon a time, uh, make old new again, and maybe uh, check out what the name all to new stands for. So it's a similar thing. So yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. Yes, everybody at Altenew, happy anniversary from all of us here today. Um, and definitely keep checking out the card blog because uh, lots of exciting things. Uh, you know Altenew knows how to throw a party. So uh, very exciting. And yes, uh, thank you so much, Mary, for being the eye in the sky behind the scenes and giving all the links to the wonderful things. Don't forget there's free shipping, and I believe it's a couple days. Um, I believe it's the fourth through the sixth, maybe. Um, but double check on that if you need some supplies at all to new, because who doesn't love free shipping? And then also check out, there's a free class that's posted uh, to help with layering some of our stencils. And that's free for a few days as well. So lots of um, exciting opportunities. And we will see you very, very soon in another class or another live. Until then, happy crafting. And thank you so much for letting Altenew be part of your lives and helping you craft your life. Bye, guys.